Hey guys, Target with Cyclone FPV here. I'm sorry, getting adjusted here in my seat. Let's make sure that we got everything set. There we go. All right, so we worked on our uh, live build, right? Uh, or our kit, our DIY kit, the QI96. Let me get a few things here to put away, uh, which is this awesome little guy right here, right? So we did this, uh, if you're following along with this, I'm sorry, just getting it all connected, make sure I had everything in line, and now look what I did. So bear with me a sec. Uh, okay. We just connect that like that. Okay, so this is the QI96 that we just did. Uh, it was a five, uh, five video, five step uh, process. The fifth step kind of being just powering it up. Uh, but now that we've got everything done, I've attached my uh, converter here so I can plug in my XT60 uh, to my um, uh, AC to DC converter there. But this is the JST right here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do a split screen here and we're gonna go one. Let me see if I can get this set. So let's do a three screen. One, two. Oh my God, I could not screw this up any possibly any more. Uh, one, two, and three. There, let's do that. Okay, so what we've got right now is, the first thing we need to do is we need to bind this. I'm gonna show you guys a couple things here that are really important about this receiver, uh, because it can be a little tricky if you don't know what to look for, right? So the first thing, so let me go ahead and get right to the table like that. Got my Lego guy watching right there. I'll just put him up like this. He can look at the camera, I guess, just like that. Hopefully he'll stay there the whole show. All right, so here's my QX7. Here is my, um, um, drone right here here's the qi96 and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug this in okay i'm not going to turn it on yet but i'm going to turn on my uh receipt my transmitter Welcome to and i'm going to show you guys so this is the model that i copied for it right so when we go to our menu and we click page and we go to see what our settings are remember that we're going to set this into xjt d8 mode okay i guess we don't need the beta flight right now so let me just um let me get out of this and go like this there all right so we're going to make sure that on our screen we've got our mode our internal right so it's internal rf is xjtd8 channel one through eight then we're going to hit bind okay now as i get this to chirp what i'm going to do is i'm going to come on over here and there if you mounted this the way i showed you in the video your button's going to be right about here so i'm going to go ahead and press that with this screwdriver you'll feel it click a little bit and i'm going to turn it on and we're going to see it start binding okay and there we go and we have our uh, blue light blinking which means it's bound now and so now what we can do is we can stop the binding process here hit exit to get out we can turn our um, our drone off turn it back on and now we're going to start seeing our we should get our rss there we go so there's our signal strength right there on our radio and we have a solid red light down here now here's the kicker though okay if you didn't know to look for this you may feel like it's not working my little lego guy's getting beat up let me move in there okay so i'm now going to connect into beta flight we'll do a split screen with this so there we go not with my face though just like that okay so here's what happens i'm going to connect to beta flight plug in this cord okay and here's what we're going to be setting up so just pay attention to the setups here and so some of this is going to pertain to actually the receiver itself so let's go ahead and click connect Okay, and so to get the receiver to work and get your smart audio work, make sure you're gonna have UART1 serial RX on. And then under UART6, if you wired it the way we did in the video, you're gonna turn this on to VTX IRC uh, tramp right here, okay? And then you can click save and reboot. All right, and then once that comes up, you're gonna to go to configuration. And if yours hesitates, just click disconnect and connect again. Go to configuration. I'm gonna leave it on one shot because I'm gonna configure the motors. I could put it on multi-shot, which is fine also. Uh, I may just go ahead and do that then. So let me just go to multi-shot. And then I'm going to set the, uh, the updates to four and four. All right. I'm going to make sure barometer's off, magnetometer's off. I've already named it CFPVQI96. Uh, and then set your receiver to serial-based receiver with S bus right here. And for right now, leave everything else like it is and just click save and reboot. And the reason is our um, VTX is cooking here, right? So I want to get it off. Now, if I go to my, um, again, disconnect go to my receiver here and you can see that my sticks are all now I've got a connection but check this out if you don't have a connection it could be that you're not in S bus mode right now and watch what happens I'm gonna hold this down okay and the blue lights gonna blink three times and now it's gonna say telemetry lost and when I turn this off and I turn it back on now watch my watch my radio though okay watch so I'm gonna get my RSSI back okay because this did not interfere with the link but what it did do is it took me out of S, S bus mode. So if you believe you have the link here, you're bound, but you're not seeing anything happen on the radio, it's because you're not in S bus mode on this receiver. To get back in S bus mode, press your bind button once everything's on, just press it and hold it. And it's gonna blink three times so with red. Once it blinks three times with red, that means you're in S bus mode, okay? Now turn it off. Wait a second. Okay, turn it back on. 
Now you're gonna get your RSSI back and your radio is gonna start functioning again, like that. So it's not that anything's broken. If you're bound, you're just not in S bus mode, so make sure to do that. Now I'm gonna put mine to TAER, because I know that's how I've got mine. I'm gonna set this to 1005, and this basically means that as long as my sticks are below 1005, it's gonna take off. And I'm gonna set the max to 2000. Uh, oh, not, oh, oops, my bad. I'm gonna set the max to 2000. I accidentally turned my radio or my um, keyboard wrong. So let's do that and click save. All right. Now the purpose of this is because I want to turn my, well, the reason I'm hurrying is I want to turn my VTX off because it's going to get hot really quick. All right. So here's my TV right here and I'm going to go ahead and enter my VTX mode like that, as you can see. And I'm going to go down to my um, features. I'm going to go down to my TR and I'm going to go down to my pit mode. And I'm going to put it in pit mode. And there, now my stuff will stay calm until the point comes where uh, I can, um, I should be in pit mode now. I don't think that's going to be a problem, but let me just check. So let me do a scan real quick and make sure that we can get this uh, pretty much turned off for right now. So far the scanning looks good, so I think we're going to be okay, but we'll, we'll just wait and see, right? Because we're going to put it down at a very low frequency or a very low power level, right? Uh, and that looks pretty good. So uh, pit mode's on and looks good to me. So at least we can function here a little bit. Okay, so now with our pit mode on, um, okay, so we want to make sure everything's good and everything's set here. So now let's start working on this side. We're only going to do the things right now that are necessary for this to function properly. First thing is going to be that we want to go to our modes and I'm going to set up my arming switch, which is going to be this one here for me. And I'm going to make it a three-way switch. Then I'm going to go to my horizon settings and I'm going to make horizon the third position. I'm going to make uh, acro uh, let's see, uh, air mode, uh, my middle position, okay? And then on my fail safe, I'm gonna go ahead and set it uh, right here, all right? And I do not have a beeper on this, but I still set this anyway because I may add one. So I put that for being all three positions, and I think that pretty much does it for my switches, so let me click save. And like I said, I'm kind of hurrying because I just wanna get, when the VTX is plugged in, I don't like to do too much. All right, so now what we've got is we've got our motors and everything set. Uh, we want to make sure that um, our motors are spinning properly, even though they're not configured yet. So let's go ahead. This is going to be motor one. So, oh, and it is spinning. All right. Motor two. It's spinning good. Motor three spins and motor four spins. Okay. So they're all spinning, right? So we know that, I mean, they're all spinning and they're spinning at the right spot. So everything else there looks good. I can set up the OSD later. What I need to do now is I need to disconnect and I need to go to my BL Heli. I need to go ahead and do my updates real quick while my VTX is, it is cooking still, I, I think. Let me see. Uh, it's not too bad now that we're in pit mode, so let me just go ahead and click read setup. Okay, uh, this is a, let me go ahead and switch this over. Give it a second here, guys, sorry. I can, there it goes. Okay, and so now we're at 16.5 on our firmware, so I'm gonna go ahead and click flash BL heli, and we're gonna click okay, and we're gonna click yes, and it's gonna run through all that first. And if you see the screen flickering here, it's supposed to, okay? That's, that's because it doesn't have a very good signal. It's gotta get super close now uh, in pit mode. So let me click okay. Click okay again. Let's do the next one. All right, so we've done uh, ESC two, so let's do three. Okay, and then we're gonna do four. Now remember the quad's facing us, so everything's reversed. Okay, so instead of this being four and this being one, this is four and this is one because it's facing me. And that's just because of the way the wiring is done. It's just easier for me to sit it this way. All right, so everything's been written here. And now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure programming by TX is set. And I'm gonna click write one more time, although there's nothing to write because we just did it. So now let's disconnect. A, a rule of thumb here, a habit to get into, is when you disconnect, go ahead and power off the quad. All right, and I like to do that, and I also like to disconnect my USB. And just make sure there's no power running to it at all. I'll go ahead now and plug my USB back in. All right, and I'm not gonna turn on my power because we're gonna calibrate right now. So we're gonna connect. We're gonna do all our resets here, calibrate the accelerometer, go to our motors, 
and we're going to turn them on and crank the power all the way up. And of course, as you see here, there are no props. Please don't put props on your stuff. It would make no sense. Go ahead and turn it on and listen for the chimes. Telemetry recovered. Once you hear the chimes and they're done, drop it down. Okay, now that's our calibration. Now, first thing again is I do want to go back and I want to turn off. I want to go back into pit mode again. So let me go to pit mode, turn it on. All right, now we're going to disconnect and we're going to go back into BL Heli and we're going to read our setup one more time. All right, there it is there. And now we're going to take our calibration numbers and we're going to program them in. So what that does is it tells us the min throttle and max throttle that it read on the motors, okay, and the ESC. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the max throttle the lowest number. If it's more than four, I don't see anything here. This is 96 and then it goes to 2000 so i'm not going to mess with it i will just make them well that's not true let me just do this for rule of thumb i'm going to say this is the slowest one here which is going to be esc1 so all the rest of them are going to have to be 1996 and then as far as min throttle uh all of them are 1012 so it doesn't look like anything's got to be done there so just left click on all of these leave it at 1996 and click right setup and it's going to write motors two three and four to equal now if you click on right click on them you're going to see they're all 1996 okay so all the values are the same and I guess out of habit, I just kick this to 1500, but it doesn't really matter. Um, a lot of these things aren't going to matter at this point, but I do it just because of it keeping everything uniform as an old habit. All right. Now, the one thing we do want to do is we want to see now, we want to take off our programming by TX because we don't want the system to automatically calibrate again by accident. So we're going to remove that checkbox and click right setup. And there we go. So now everything's written to, and now we're going to disconnect. And keep in mind, we might be coming back here though. Okay. Now, since we didn't do any flashing or anything, I don't have to unplug the power here, but I am going to connect back here. And now what I want to do is make sure that my motor spin the right direction. Okay, so we're going to go to motor one and we're going to turn it on. Okay, and we're going to see, and it is, it needs to be spinning clockwise, right? One and four spin clockwise. This is backwards. So motor one needs to be reversed. Motor two is spinning. See, this is going the wrong direction too. Motor three is going the wrong direction. And motor four, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Yeah, that's right. I forgot the quads backwards, but just trust me on this one. It's going the wrong direction, right? So what we've got, it almost looks as though in the configuration, it, it almost looks like we said reverse the props, but we didn't, okay? It's just the reverse on the um, on the BL Heli. So let's disconnect here, go back to BL Heli, do a read setup. Okay, so we're gonna click motor one. And I don't believe that we can reverse them all at one time. So let me just kind of try to write that. I think it's only gonna do one motor at that time. That's right. So reverse motor one, then right click on motor two, click reverse. Uh, sorry, right click on motor two, move it to reverse and click right setup. Okay, and then right click on motor three, click reverse, right setup. Okay, and then right click on motor four, click reverse, right setup. All right, so now they're all set to be reversed. So now if we disconnect, and we connect back here and I go to my motors and I tell it to go ahead and spin them all very slowly. All right, so this should be going clockwise. It is counter, yep, counter, yep, and then clockwise, it is. So the, all the motors are now spinning properly, so that's good. And we now, as you can see, if I was to arm mine, my quad here, so let me go ahead and arm it. Uh, let me make sure I've got my, I don't think I did my uh, calibration here. So let me do this and this. Okay. And then let me go ahead. Um, hold on a second. Let me go to my motors. Make sure that I've got this set Low to, battery. Make sure I've got this set to arm. So let me go to my modes. Low battery. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's set to arm. So now let me go to my receiver side. And we are at, oh yeah, that's about right. Low battery. Okay. Low battery. Excellent. All right. So what we can do now is with our motor set, we want to make sure everything's in line here. Okay. Let's check. Normal mode. Oh, make sure everything's good. Battery. All right. And so now if we run these, we will see that they all run pretty smooth. Everything here is going to be running nicely, right? Okay. So now with that done, we can go and we can turn off our battery now because we really don't need anything else from this. So let's power it off, which is going to make us lose our signal here as well, I believe, right? Telemetry yep, there lost. it is. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my radio off now. Okay. And now we're just going to work with the final touches on this. 
So right off the bat, uh, looking at our configuration, I can turn this TV off too. There we go. And we can now put this quad back the way it should be, which is aimed like this. And everything looks good. All right, and my Lego guy is riding high right there. Okay, so we're on multi-shot. Uh, looks like everything's fine here. Um, and now we want to look, okay, our OSD. So we need to go check our OSD out. So let's go ahead. And I do want to see what version we're running as well, because I think it's going to have an old version. And it does. Oh my gosh. 3.2.3. So we're going to go ahead and update this. Now remember, this is Omnibus F4. So let's go ahead and go to update firmware. Okay. And we'll probably go back and do our settings again then, but let's update our firmware. So we're going to drop this down to Omnibus F4. Uh, okay, fine. I'll leave that like that. All right, so let me go ahead and load the firmware. Now let's flash it. If you try to flash it and it hangs and it doesn't go to DFU mode, just unplug the USB and plug it back in and you should be all right. Okay, so don't let that bother you. Just uh, sometimes there's a glitch on that with the uh, driver's software. So just go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in and you'll be good to go. All right, so it's gonna erase. And now that we know everything's set, we're gonna go back and just reset some of the things. And some of our features will be better off anyway this way. And we could have done this at the beginning. I thought I had flashed this already, but since I hadn't. Um, so make sure you flash yours. And then I guess you may have to go back and do everything I just did. Uh, so let's see what we got. I'll just give it a minute. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and connect back to it and we'll reset. All right, so let's go to our ports. We're just going to go ahead and turn these back on. So um, there we go. Let's click and save on that one and go to our configuration. And again, if it hangs, just hit disconnect. Make sure your ports took, go to your setup, make sure you can do all this stuff, wonderful stuff, ports. Okay, that took configuration. I'm gonna stick back at multi-shot. Uh, we are gonna turn these off, go to 4K, 4K for now. Uh, we are gonna call this the CFPB-QI96. Okay, and we are gonna go to serial base and we will use S bus and we will turn off uh, Air mode will not be on all time. OSD will be, anti-gravity will not. You can leave dynamic for now. I'm not too worried about it, but if it does have problems down the road, I'll let you know. Let's just go ahead and click save. Okay, and let's go to our uh, disconnect, reconnect. Go to our receiver, and I'm gonna power this back on. And I'm gonna change this to 1005, just like we did before, 2000. Okay, click save. Okay, and then we're going to turn on radio one. All right, and we're going to see our uh, our settings here that we needed. So let's go to ports. Okay, configuration. All right. Okay, power battery. All right, there we go. Our motor stuff is already set. Our modes. Let's go ahead and add those. Oh wait, it doesn't show, sorry. Switch I have to get out of my warnings here. So we're gonna make sure that we've got our stuff here. Uh, I can put that back here if you like. Okay, so let's go ahead. Hush a second. There. All right, so let's go ahead and add a range. Low, battery, RF, signal, low, RF signal, critical. Stop talking a second. Okay, so then we're gonna go to horizon. Oops, and we're gonna add our range. RF signal, critical, acro, mode bump, okay. normal, mode Sorry if this thing is talking so much. Uh, fail safe, we'll add our range. RF okay. signal, critical. There we go. I uh, need to turn off my... Uh, let's go ahead and turn off our... Telemetry lost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. RF okay. signal, Hold on. critical, telemetry uh, recovered. Let's go to our beeper again. Oh man, I'm clicking all the wrong thing. Add range. And we'll leave that covered all the way. RF and signal, then we're going to go to our air mode. That normal, range. We'll mode, keep it in the simple. Right there. All right. So let's get out of this and go to setup. 
Signal. And then we're going to go to our features, go to our VTX again, and just go into pit mode one more time so we can keep this. It's getting pretty hot. All right. So it uh, looks like we've got everything right. set here. Critical. Our ports are set. Our uh, battery is set. Everything looks good there. Let me make sure that we've got everything here set. RF signal critical. Okay, good. All right, so that's set. Uh, and let's see what else do we have. Um, RF signal critical. If this day would quit talking, we'd be all right. Okay, and low battery RF signal low acro mode on. Excellent. RF signal critical. Looks like we're good here. Battery RF. Sorry, I have my radio set to talk a lot, so I guess that's just part of what's happening. Here. RF signal critical. Okay, and our receiver, everything looks good. All right, so our motors should still be set, so we should be able to spin those up. Yep. RF signal critical. Okay, our OSD is the one thing that is not set yet. So we're gonna to need to set that as well, and we can do that without the without it being on. Um, actually, you know what, we're, we're gonna do it while it's critical. on. I wish this thing would shut up a second, so hold on. Go ahead and leave that there. Okay. RF signal critical. Let's put this here. Let's go here, all right. So what we want to do now is let's go ahead and do our, our OSD here. Um, and let me just make sure I've got everything. All right, so we need to, sorry, I'm just flipping my switches here because I want to see what auxiliary five is for. Uh, so our modes, we're set, OSD. All right, so on our OSD, we're going to use our screen here and I'm going to go ahead and go to my features on my screen. I'm going to go to my VTX. And I'm going to turn pit mode off, all right. And I'm going to click save and exit, save and exit. And I'm going to do this rather quickly because I don't want this to also uh, get hot. So we want to do main battery, but we don't need the beta flight logo. Uh, we need main battery voltage. Let's do our fly mode, craft name, throttle position. So we can start moving things around and see how they're going to lay out on the screen. All right. So um, if you're looking at this right here, uh, I want to put this somewhere like maybe right there. Yep. Then I'll take my errors and put them or my warnings and put it there. And then let's take, uh, this is going to be my throttle position, I believe. Let's put that up there. We'll take our type of flying, our mode that we're in, put that there. Take our, RS, our, our battery, main battery, and put it here. And I think that's readable. Yep, yep, yep. And then we will take our, uh, what is this, our RSSI value. We'll put that there. Okay, that's perfect. And then I think that will be pretty much anything else. So we can do this for all, uh, all three modes, I guess, for right now, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now you can tell it's giving us our warning that our core is getting hot. So let's go ahead and turn our, uh, uh, see our power, where's our power? Do that and we'll leave that alone for right now okay and okay so at the same time that that's done this is saved uh, let's see what else do we have we got our motors done we have our modes done we have our receiver set right everything looks good there we go um, and I think that's pretty much it for right now quad staying still ports look good configuration looks good so theoretically we should be able to go fly with this thing now so let's look at one more thing Make sure it looks good. Yeah, it all looks good. All right, so we'll do our PIDs later. Uh, for, for right now, though, it looks good. Everything looks like it's set, so we're going to go ahead and disconnect. And now we can get just our main screen. There you go. All right, and we're going to take our power off. There we go. Okay. So with everything set, we're going to get our telemetry loss here now because we cut the power. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's disconnect this from Betaflight. Okay. And let's go ahead and disconnect our JST. There we go. All right, and we can put our TV away for now. Okay, so here's our quad as it stands right now. And uh, it's ready to fly actually. So let's go ahead and get some props on it real quick. All right, so we did find some props here. Um, and I went and got me some A-bands here. There's gonna be some two inch props. So let me go ahead and get these out. Let's see what we got, let me move my transmitter. Get a few things out of here, try to 
not make such a mess. <sighs> let's put these back up. Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, gotta find some of these screws that we had. So we can screw down the prop. And let's make sure that we can get a good fit here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give these a shot to begin with. Uh, my other one, the original one that I made here was using a different brand. Uh, I think those are gym fans. So now I'm gonna try these and see. I guess we'll have at least a comparison here. So let me go ahead and just kind of get these on then we'll go through the part about screwing them down and so forth. So I'll put our counter counterclockwise props on. And let me dig through here to find some clockwise props. There we go. All right. So that's looking good. Pretty strong props, actually. Uh, I think these are going to do pretty good. I hope. Uh, remember, guys, we don't get we don't get any, nothing's given to us here. Okay. I, you know, I know there are some guys out there, and I'm not dogging them by any means. Please don't misunderstand what I'm about to say, but. Uh, at here, the policy for me has been since day one that we pay for everything. Uh, I have had manufacturers that ask us to, you know, hey, listen, we'll send you this. Uh, you know, if you can give us some feedback on it. And every time they've said that, I've offered to buy the item instead. And I don't mind. I mean, to me, it only makes you smarter if you can try many things. And I mean, in my field, especially for me, I owe it to my customers to try stuff. Sorry, I'm looking for my screwdriver at the same time. Um, but we don't take it for free. And in doing so, I don't get my, I'm not tied to any brand. I don't, it doesn't save me any money to like a specific brand or to talk good about a brand. Uh, and so if I tell you something, I guess the reason I just got into that is because I put these Emacs props on here and I'm like, well, I hope they're good. Uh, well, if they're not, I'll tell you they're not. Emacs doesn't give me anything to, uh, you know, I, I don't take anything from them and they've never offered to begin with. So let me make that clear. Some other companies have offered, not not necessarily for a good review, don't get me wrong. They have just offered, you know, probably out of kindness. Uh, hey, you know, if you'll test this. Problem is, is I'm not so sure, and I guess I'd never want to find out, is if they offer out of kindness, and you know, out of kindness, uh, you accept, and then you end up, you know, I guess not giving a good review, I assume that acts of kindness would start to fade away. Now, I, I'm assuming. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. I guess I'm kind of going off on a little sideways chat here because today I actually spoke with speaking with somebody about this. And, uh, you know, just... It's just weird because the other thing is that I get a lot of guys that... I've mentioned this before. These guys that do these... They have YouTube channels and they got whatever followers and this and that. And, you know, they're like, hey, listen, send me a free drone... And I'll review it for you and, uh, you know, make you, uh, give you some positive reviews. And I've got 30,000 followers or blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, how much would that suck though? Like, it's a con game, it seems, in some cases. No offense to some guys, I'm sure they're legit. But other guys, they're cons. And they've made a good living being cons like that. Uh, I don't get it. I figured I'll bite you in the ass eventually. So, anyways, I guess because I had a conversation about that today with someone, we were both agreeing on this. Although we'd never talked about it before, but I had no idea that we both had the same feeling on that. And then as I'm putting in these Emacs props, I was just thinking, wow, you know, if I don't like them, I'm going to tell you guys because I sure as hell don't want y'all mad at me if I try to tell you something's good and it's not. All right. So looking at what we've got here, there I, I am using the props. I guess I'll put their stickers that came in the prop package. Okay. So there's our final product here, right? Um, and I'm going to tell you, I think this is going to be a really impressive uh, uh, flight. I'm hoping it is. Uh, I can tell you, even though, even though I built it, if it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks because you won't see me selling it. Um, but I can tell you that the first one, which is right here, I did actually took this out again today and it flew like a champion. I mean, I'm extremely impressed with this. I have made some changes. Um, one of them is obviously going to be the prop change. Uh, and there's a couple other changes here and there, but overall, uh, I'm extremely pleased with this, and I think you guys will be too. So, that being said, um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get this thing geared up, and uh, we will get it out for a spin, and we'll take some video. I'm going to put, um, it's not Hawkeye actually, it's a different brand. Uh, it looks identical to the Hawkeye, and not surprising. I mean, probably, I don't know who does what or what copies what around there, 
but uh, I'm gonna put something of a camera on here and see if we can get a really cool video to show you guys, okay? So um, I guess that pretty much wraps it up for now. It's a pretty quick intro before we go do that video. Uh, if you have any questions, please, by all means, make sure to send me an email to tark at cyclotfpv.com. Uh, I think this video, it's all of five minutes, not even a big, not a big issue. Um, uh, actually, no, this is the continuation, sorry. I forgot that I paused to find the props. So in either case, though, uh, there's my uh, email. Uh, please uh, make sure to subscribe to my, uh, my, um, my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. Uh, and it helps support me. I guess we get followers, you know, we get subscribers. It's kind of cool. I uh, appreciate it. Um, and then, uh, of course, always follow us or like us or whatever you're supposed to do with Facebook. Please, that'd be kind of cool too. All right. Other than that, guys, as I always tell you all before we go, God bless. Safe flying. <coughs> Make sure to spend time with your family. You never know when that time might run out. So get as much as you can right now. Okay. Peace, guys. God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye.